All right, and welcome to my Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary uh, Lego set review. This is uh, set 76961, the Visitor Center T-Rex and Raptor Attack. The final and most expensive of these sets at <laughs> over $100. Man, there's some things to say about this one. Like, I'm going to be probably a bit more negative even if I rate this highly just because of one little thing. This is the only Visitor Center set we've ever gotten, and they couldn't have even gone through the trouble of releasing a big, like, adult version of the Visitor Center. Star Wars has a hundred million of them. I saw them at the stores, like, $600 at Hat Walker, and they couldn't do Visitor Center full-size. We could only get this facade, and that's the worst part of all of this. They release all kinds of super fancy, high-detail, large piece count sets for Star Wars and... Harry Potter and other things, but Jurassic Park, they won't give a time of day. So even if I'm going to be more negative, I'm probably going to score this one high as well. But just know that that complaint is in there, and this would have been the perfect time to do it. It's the 30th anniversary, and they didn't. So, yeah. Much disappointment there. A lot, honestly. Quite a lot of disappointment. So let's just talk about it. Let's go with Dr. Grant first. Which is nice, he's got like a muddied, sort of dirtied up shirt, he lost his little, I forget what it's called, like ascot or something, like the thing around his neck, I don't know what it's technically called, and with regular hair without the hat, it honestly makes him look a little less generic, but he still looks pretty generic, and I still think they should have gone with some printed pants. He's got a printed back, I didn't check the other one had a printed back, but, you know, sometimes I just forget things. You got Ellie Sattler in the Survivor outfit, where she's lost her jacket and got a dirty shirt. And printed legs, which makes her look a lot more unique, which is what they should have given Dr. Grant, but, you know, I guess not. And, of course, she's got the hairpiece that I don't really like, because there was too many of them in uh, the Minion Wave. Too many of this dang hairpiece. Let me turn the head. Her head is, like, stuck. Holy moly. It's on there really good. Holy moly. There we go. So make it like, a little more centered. There we go. And, yeah. So, I mean, I'm gonna get. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of the hairpiece because it was just overused in the Dominion set, but it's not bad. And we get Lex and Tim without mud cover on them. So now we get actual Lex and Tim. They don't look too bad. Look pretty nice. I like the shirts. I really like the, like the patterning on Lex's t shirt there. And they got back prints too. Lex's shirt is very detailed, so big fan of it. And uh, yeah, not much else to say about the kids. They just look pretty good, and it's nice to get them without, you know, them being covered in mud. And I'm going to talk about these guys, that guy last, but this is the same Raptor we got in the uh, Muldoon set, so if, you know, you get the second one, I guess, it's pretty nice. Uh, if we had a third one, you could create the full pack, but I guess we could just use that weird dark brown one if you really wanted to. I don't want to, but I'll probably just have to buy one of these separately so I can get all three of the Raptors that were in the original movie, since they were all identical in appearance. But yeah, there's not much else to say about this one compared to the last one. It still looks really nice. Still really great for the uh, coloration of a Jurassic Park 1 Raptor. Fantastic job, just as I said before. Oh, we forgot some characters. We got Ray Arnold, Samuel Jackson. I really like these sort of loose ties. This is him later on in the movie, after all the disaster has gone down. He's trying to reboot everything. You know, he's... I you know, like the shutting off the power and all that. So yeah, it's a pretty good Ray Arnold. And uh, I do like the shirt print. It, it makes up for the lack of leg print. And I like how, like, half the characters in this set have the shirt undone showing, like, chest hair and stuff. It's kind of funny. So, yeah, pretty good Ray Arnold. Very nice. And then we get Dr. Wu, who does look pretty good as well. I, I like how they include all the name badges on everyone. It looks really nice detail. The hair looks good. Skin color looks right. Uh, you know, unlike the Dominion variant where he had... All right, hopefully that fixed it. My phone was freaking out there for a second. Sorry. As I was saying of a Dr. Wu, he uh, looks pretty good. Honestly, I thought he looked a little generic, but I realized there's enough detail on here to make him look all right. Like, he still looks less generic than Dr. Grant. And then we get on to the visitor center. And, you know, it really hurts my soul to see how beautiful this looks. And remember that we didn't get a full-sized one. That we just got this facade. This one that's empty on the inside. Also, don't mind this. If you watch the build stream, I launched this off as soon as I figured out what it did, and it flew off somewhere, and I can't find where it went. 
it probably got stuck between the bed and the wall. I'll fish it out later. So just deal with it kind of, you know, on the ground. So you can see what it was supposed to be. If it was attached to this, it wouldn't have flown off on its own. It would have, like, fallen and gotten, like, trapped and then fell down. But I launched it before I attached the uh, banner, so... Yeah. Good job, me. Anyways. Uh, let's take a look. So, I mean, I have said this when I was doing it. I think that the panes inside are really, really cool. But they're pretty much the only cool thing about this. We got a lab, and we've gotten tons of labs before, and some of them look better. Like the Dominion Wave... The Dominion Therizinosaurus Kikinotosaurus Wave was very bad. But if there's one thing... Or not wave, but set was very bad. But if there's one thing it did right, the lab inside was absolutely fantastic. But yeah, the, um, what was I saying? Okay, sorry. It, the lab in that set was absolutely fantastic and looked way better than this one. I mean, it's got like the little robot arm. I guess that's neat. It's got a Mr. DNA on a screen for some reason. The amber brick is pretty nice. The computer looks nice. And, uh, uh, you know, forget the name of it for some reason. Microscope. Microscope looks nice, but it's very small. And the Dominion set had a much cooler lab. There's a door entryway where there's nothing pretty much there. So, yeah, and then we get to the dining room. Hey, look, it's got jello, and there's a little cake frog over here. And the candles look pretty nice, but it's honestly not much. It looks fine, I guess, but still, I mean, I mean, at least they got the raptor picture back here where you would sit Lex, or not Lex, but you would sit Tim, because Lex was the one that was freaking out after a while eating the jello. Saw so the raptor behind, you know, behind him, whatever. You know how you, you know what I mean. But I mean I mean it's alright. But it doesn't it's not so amazing that it justifies the ridiculous asking price and especially when again I remember that there's no full sized set of you know <laughs> of the visitor center. Overall, this visitor center isn't bad, but it's more like just disappointing that it could have been more. Also, these stickers are pretty cool. I wish I still wish they were printed, but they are. Some, it does look pretty nice. Was I supposed to put something down there? Oh, I was supposed to put like little blocks. I'm actually realizing I forgot two pieces while I'm doing this. Let's put them on just right now, shall we? Yeah, I missed it's pieces like this. Sorry about that, folks. Funny, I didn't even notice it till now. I was like, man, those pieces are exposed. That looks odd. And I looked at the front box. I'm like, those are not missing on the image. Luckily, I save all my extra pieces. So that if I find something like this, I can instantly fix it. Come on. There we go. Sorry about that. I mean, yeah, it looks pretty nice. I wish they were printed. And all in all, all the only thing that's bad about this visitor center is that there could have been so much more, and there isn't. And I guess that's a compliment that it's fantastic, and that I wish that they made a bigger one. But I don't know if it really is, because it really does show that Lego does not like making any large or more adult-themed Jurassic Park sets, and it's a, it's a, it's a shame. It's like Jurassic Park as a whole. The franchise only makes stuff for kids, and I don't understand why that is. There are people who, there are adults who like dinosaurs, you can stop pretending. <laughs> Alright. And then we get this little T-Rex build. And it's not like it's so mind-blowing and it justifies the ridiculous asking price, but it is still pretty cool. It's very flexible, it's very poseable. It reminds me of my models, like in terms of flexibility and how much you can pose it and whatnot. It's got a cool little T-Rex thing on the front. But it is a lot smaller than an actual T-Rex. Like, thing, you can see if we just stand a Rex right next to it, it's basically a little baby t-rex but it's pretty cool it's it's a nice solid build I'll, I'll give him that there's not much else to say about it and now for the final piece of the puzzle this rex this rex is an excellent jurassic world t-rex which is weird that it's in jurassic park you know the jurassic park set we got the scars the more faded brown coloring like, it's a fantastic Rexy if this was a Jurassic World set. And then in the Jurassic World sets, we get this Rexy that actually fits the T-Rexy from this movie before she got the scars, before the battle. And I feel it a little odd that we have both Rexies now. Oops, sorry, I just pushed that. 
And we have both Raxies, old and young now, and they're in opposite sets. You can't even get this set. This was 2014 Rexy, and this one is a perfect representation of 1993 Rexy. Very vibrant, saturated oranges. And then you get the more dull oranges that come with future 2000, you know, like not 2014, I guess 2014, Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom, and Dominion Rexy, which we can see on the box if I move the head right on here, which is, I guess, explains why the older Rexy is seen in the image because it's the one that comes in the sets for some reason. And it's weird that there's this mix up. Like, I just, I don't understand why this is a thing. Why is new Rexy in the night in the Classic Jurassic Park set and old Rexy, oh, sorry, so o older Rexies in the new Jurassic Park sets and younger Rexies in the 2014 Jurassic World release. So it's weird, it's this weird ground that we're occupying where it's a fantastic model if it was released for a Jurassic World wave. We got old Rexy with all of her scars. And this one would have been perfect for this wave. So I'm not sure how to score this. Because it's a great Rexy model. It's a fantastic Rexy model. If this wasn't any Jurassic World wave, it'd be an instant platinum. But now we have time-traveling older Rexy in 1993 for some reason. And I guess if you got, if you, like me, have this Rexy, you can just replace her. Ah, sorry, dropped it. And you can have the proper set. And then you can put 2000, you know, Dominion, Dura Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Rexy in the set where she belongs. I don't know. It's it, it's it's really weird. But I guess that's another thing for lore nerds to complain about. I'm sure other people will be fine with it. At the end of the day, this set is great. Maybe it's a little expensive and pricey, and it's weird that Rexy time travels to her older self for this set. The figures look nice. You know, none of the, none of the figures stand out as particularly bad, although I do have a personal gripe against Ellie because of the hairpiece. At the end of the day, it's another gold medal. It's not perfect. It's got some problems. One of the biggest problems being that it's just an indicator of what we could have gotten, but didn't. And at the end of the day, that just means that every single set in this wave got gold. And, um, I guess that's just how it is. They're all great. Just take your pick. Which one do you want, you know? That's all I really got to say on this.